Hi there, welcome to Thack Ironworks and I think video three for uh, the gauntlets. So at this point we've got our back of the hand taken care of here and now what I want to do is do the gadlings or the knuckle rider which is the piece that straddles over the knuckles um, and has to move quite a bit. So the shape on this one is quite specific, there's a lot going on there. So I start with a thicker piece of steel, this is uh, a like 14 gauge to me, might be 14 or 16, I just grabbed it out of a pile. Uh, and I need something with quite a bit of thickness because I'm going to be doing some deep dishing into it and then grinding, so I want to have lots of extra material so that when I finish off with this thing that the final shape, it's still got some body left to it. So I've just started with a strip that is two inches by seven, seven and a half inches long, and I'm going to start with that. Um, I just have to determine where my first knuckle will be, and let's start there. So I want to just start by spacing my knuckles out on here. And as I do that, I keep the, the forefinger and pinky is spread out a little bit just so that the whole thing grows a little bit because it's sitting on top of your hand. So um, the knuckles have to get just slightly wider than what they actually are at knuckle level. So I'm bringing it up so it's got to radiate out slightly. So I'm forming this into my swage block here. This is a pretty handy swage block, which I sell on my website. Check it out. Um, so working on this side of it here, this tends to be the best uh, depression for this particular thing. But the other side also has a couple of depressions in there, and I may experiment with that. So what's going to follow now is a lot of pounding. So we've got a very basic, vague shape here. Um, so now just bear with me. I'm going to be pounding away for many minutes. So. I'm going to put my ear protection on and a glove. I'll see you soon. Okay, so at this point now, I've got probably about 80% of the shape there. I can see basically where I want to take it. Um, in working it like this, it's I'm feeling it under the hammer getting a lot stiffer. It's starting to work harden. So what I'm going to do is heat the whole thing up in the forge, bring it up to um, a dull orange heat, and then just let it air cool. And this is going to normalize it, soften things up a little bit, and give me um, a little bit easier working conditions until I can take it to the final shape. So we're just going to go to the forge and heat that up. We're back. Phase two. Here we go again.
All right, so I've got the basic shape there. You can see it's got a slight curve that follows the knuckles of the hand. Um, there's a slight curvature in there um, and should follow the shape of the gauntlet relatively well. Um, it just fits over there, so these pieces should mate together. Um, what I need to do now is actually get in with the grinder and sculpt this, get some scallops out so that we got some more movement there. But you can see that if we put it on an angle there, it should be able to 45 over the knuckles, which is exactly what you're looking to do. So you're, it allows um, this plate and your first finger plate to uh, basically be at a 90. So this is the knuckle rider, it rides over the knuckles and achieves that. So we've got the appropriate shape at this point in time to do that. So now uh, I'm gonna get noisy with the grinder and do some sculpting and you'll see this thing come to shape. All right, so I'm gonna grind out the shape on the gadolene now. So what we're gonna do is just create some scallops. For visual interest, and allow things to scoop out. So just following what I want the finished shape to look like. Scooping back around. And usually with the pinky I try to make I take the mass down because it's so much smaller on that side of the hand. I have the thing wider here and thinning down so you can see my scallop is just taking that down a little bit there. So that is what we're looking to profile out to. So I'm gonna get noisy for a moment. Okay, so there we have it. Um, I've just roughed out the profile. I've also smoothed out some of the surface area to get um, me an idea of what the finished shape is gonna look like. I've still got some refining and stuff to do on this, but at least it takes it um, into close to being it's in its final shape. So now I'm gonna uh, pop some holes in there and actually attach it onto the rest of the gauntlet there. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, the moment of truth. Is it gonna work? Okay, so it's pivoting, which is what we want it to do. It's very stiff right now, but that's um, easily fixed. and take away the tension on the sides there and I can actually pound it into the knuckle depressions on the inside conforming the two shapes mating them together and in doing that you get all kinds of movement on the, the gadolene there so that's functioning quite well I'm pleased with that we've got some fine tuning to do on this was as we do the the rest of the assembly but I'm quite pleased with how that's working out. So our next step will be to add a piece on the wrist.
that'll be our next video. All right, this is it. Uh, until next time, we'll come back and do the wrist. I hope to see you soon. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel. We're trying to build up our subscribership. Um, and uh, leave a post. Let me know what you think of uh, what's going on here. So, back out. See ya!